Welcome back for another exciting episode of CSC News. I'm Pete DiCarlo. Here's what's been happening in the month of March. The second annual Drag Ball was held on March 18th by Safe Zones. Safe Zones is an organization that creates a safe haven for those gay, straight, and lesbian members of our community. The Drag Ball encourages acceptance, and yet not everyone was dressed in drag. Everyone had a great time. There was a crowning of the king and queen of drag, along with some professional drag queens to stir some things up. Following the event was a performance put on by East is East, and they put on a great show. Here are some highlights of the event. The zombie apocalypse has found its way back to Colby Sawyer College. The week-long battle of life versus death kicked off March 21st. The event allowed students to sign up, enter to win a raffle, and view the film Shaun of the Dead. Our own Ashley Finnethy was there to give you the news. Hi, I'm Ashley Finnethy here with CSC News at the opening ceremony of Humans vs. Zombies. Humans vs. Zombies is a game played all over the world and allows students to feel like kids again. The opening ceremony brought together all kinds of students that are eager to play the campus-wide game. And the rules of engagement. So, greetings humans. Welcome to zombie-free Colby Sawyer. I know. I'm here with John Clark, student coordinator of Humans vs. Zombies at Colby Sawyer. I know there are several different methods to survival when you are a zombie or a human and those are nerf guns or socks. Is there a preferred method of how to survive when it comes to using battle weapons? It varies depending on your personality really. I've seen people fighting off with um, the giant nerf guns, fighting off just hordes of zombies. I've also seen people taking two socks and taking out eight zombies at once. It's all about just thinking what you're gonna do. Humans can be identified as having a band around their arm whereas zombies wear them around their heads. Entire event, the humans were not sure if they were going to survive it, mainly because there was such a huge zombie crowd at this point. There was about 60 zombies on campus. This is Colby Sawyer's third semester participating in the event, and with each semester, participation continues to increase. This means only one thing, Colby Sawyer. This game is truly infectious. Ashley Finnethy, CSC News. To see the HVZ promotional video by our incredibly talented Joe Delaney, visit his webpage at vimeo.com. It's V-I-M-E-O dot com. CSC News will be right back after these quick messages. Come to the lodge. There's so much food you can't even handle it. So come to the lodge. Are you looking for something fun to do? Then come to Wacky Bingo! People love to be wacky. Play with all your friends. Look at all these people here to be wacky. Everyone has a chance to win here at Wacky Bingo. And look at all these wonderful prizes.
So come get wacky at Wacky Bingo! Welcome back to CSC News. On March 24th, Colby Sawyer hosted the 2011 International Festival. This exciting event conjoins cultures all over the world in one room. It also provides the opportunity for some international students to show off their home pride. Colby Bicanto with more on the story. During the International Festival, students from overseas take a break from learning about our culture to educate the community about theirs. Attendees even had the opportunity to answer tough questions. The first word spoken on the moon was not English. <laughs> Wheeler Hall was full of diverse community members eager to see what the Cross Culture Club had to offer. Let's see, Chris. Five times. <laughs> no. So this is this is the, the students who have put on this night. It was their idea to do a completely student-run night with um, student. The event did not just offer an eyeful of delight, but also offered a mouthful of multicultural treats. The festival really hit it off with a fashion show performed by the international students. This is Colby Picanto, CSC News. That sure was one fun festival. Some of the spiciest Cajun I've ever had. And believe me, I know spicy Cajun. The Colby Sawyer College Fine and Performing Arts Department presented the 2011 Spring Dance Performance. The ensemble featured collaborative casts performing lyrical, modern, and jazz techniques. The dancers executed their moves majestically and kept the audience in awe the entire performance. Excellent work, dancers. The knowledge obtained here at Colby Sawyer College goes far beyond the classroom. Our own alumni, William Peters, 2006, has wit written and directed his own short film, titled Motel. Also starring in the film was fellow alumni Ben Watts, class of 2003, and Michael Mooney, class of 2002. The film features two men struggling to find a motel room in a scene right out of the Twilight Zone. The film has been entered into many short film festivals and also won Best Short Comedy in the Snob Film Festival. Here's a short clip of the film we'll hope you enjoy. How much for a room? How many pupils? Uh, just one room. Any pits? After the showing, the cast and crew stuck around for a questions and answers session held at the New Windy Hill building. To see the movie's entirety, visit motelshort.com. And that's going to do it for this month's episode of CSC News. Thanks for tuning in, and be sure to check us out next month for another exciting episode, CSC News. I'm Pete DiCarlo saying good night, and always remember, tip your lodge employees. Thanks.